Auburn baseball opened up its spring training of sorts on Friday evening, the Feb. 15 start to college baseball making it more of a midwinter training for a team that came up one win short of the College World Series. The season is now less than three weeks away, and while head coach Butch Thompson sung the praises of his roster's preparedness for a new season, I'm not really looking for hit, hit, his or strikeouts or anything like that. Thompson said, I think I'm trying to evaluate how ready our guys are to play, but no matter how ready Auburn gets for this season, where it enters as the no. 20 team in the country, with six other SEC teams ranked, there will be a change to the starting rotation. That because the multi-million dollar arm of Casey Mize will be about a seven-hour drive away in Lakeland, Florida, capturing the excitement of Detroit Tigers fans while the Auburn Tigers look to fill his place. So how does Auburn's rotation look as it enters the season? Who will be the three weekend starters entering the year? The obvious first choice is Tanner Burns, who was shut down in the fall after pitching for the collegiate national team over the summer. Burns had a 3.01 error last year for Auburn in 17 starts, throwing 86.2 innings, he left a couple of fastballs, gave a non-competitive at-bat, a four-pitch walk. He did have some survivability to his fastball as well. Thompson said of Burns outing on in Friday's scrimmage. The innings were a little lengthier and I think he's facing two extra batters per inning just because that sharpness is not there yet. It's been a long time. His last outing was Team USA so we're talking about with Coach Maneris in Cuba was the last time he's really faced hitters. His pitches were up a little bit Burns said he was timid last year and said he learned a lot about having confidence in his pitches from eyes. Now it's a message he's trying to instill on a staff he'll lead, that was one thing I'm telling the younger guys, you're here for a reason, you can play, you can pitch Burns said. I want them to know they have the skills to come out here and pitch. I was glad he told me that. It gives me more confidence going into this year, another person who will start the season in the rotation is Davis Daniel, another pitcher who didn't throw in the fall. Daniel was on and off starter last season, making 10 starts and 19 appearances. He had a 4.86 era in 70 strikeouts in 66.2 innings, me and Davis have a deal between each other and starter is what's in his heart, Thompson said. At the end of the day we'll make a business decision, what's best for Auburn and for him and for all of our players in that regard. I'd imagine right now, as long as he keeps building pitches and gets ready, we're trying to figure out Tanner and Davis, kind of the first two slots, the first two starters, Thompson added that as basically going to be the experiment entering the season, particularly with Daniel. The first four weeks of the non-conference will give way to what is the most sensible once SEC play starts, and changes could theoretically be made then. The other options for who could start include Richard Fitz, who actually started the fall season as a starter, and pitched one, two, three first inning with three strikeouts against Western Carolina, way back in October. Auburn also has a top prospect in Garrett Wade, a freshman, and said he could see freshman Brooks Fuller as a starter, as well, I've liked, from day one, what I've seen from Fitz. Thompson said, the talent's there. The off-speed offerings getting down in the zone is still something I think he has to grow with. He's working with a new changeup but actually played well in this short two outings. Auburn doesn't have a lot of other returning talent with starting experience. Jack Owen made seven starts last season, and Ryan Howarder made two starts, as did Ryan Watson. So maybe one of them will step up or someone else will move in from the bullpen. The next three weeks will be about figuring that out, and establishing a depth chart that, right now, is just about too deep.